hello guys today we are going to understand the lead code question right so today we have uh, lead code question 839 okay so this question is very important because uh, this question has been asked me multiple interview questions or oh, in the bank and other top product based company okay so question uh, is saying that uh, uh, we have to find the uh, similar string group right uh, as you can see the heading right similar string group we have to find so statement is saying that uh, two a string x and y are similar right two string are similar if we can swap two letters right in different position right from different position if you swap right of x so that uh, it equals y right after swapping two letters in x uh, in any of the different positions right so it will become equal to y so also two string x and y are similar if they are equal right so for example we have tas right and rats are similar so th the swapping at this position 0 and 2 rats and arts right are similar but star is not similar to tars rats and arts right so together these form two connected groups by similar similar sim sim similarity like tars rats arts and one is a star right so this is the one group and this is the another group okay so this is the one group and this is the second group notice that tas and arts are in the same group right even through they are not similar okay so formally each group is, is uh, such that a word is in a group if and only if it is similar to at least one another word in the group so we have given a list a string str where every string in str is a anagram of every other string in strs right so we have to find how many groups are there so for example we have given this one right so as you can see this is uh, if you'll find the uh, this is the tar right and if there is a string and how many uh, you can say anagrams we have in this string that we have to find okay so we'll see here uh, how to implement this one as you can see there is only one we have so we can say that there is only one uh, we have right like this and we have two here so we'll say there is two groups are there right so actually we have to find uh, number of groups that are here in the given strs right so the problem statement uh, says that uh, the two string that we have given is uh, x and y right we have given here x and y as you can see so these uh, two string x and y right are similar if two letters that is in uh, uh, x of different positions can be swap right and to form what y after swapping the what if whatever the data will come that is equal to y so also if two string x and y are equal right it means if x and y are equal they are similar right so we have given an array of a string that is called strs right here right so where each string is an anagram of every other string in the array so our task is to uh, group the string strings together where the strings in the same group are similar to at least one another string in the group so we have to return the number of such group that will be formed right so uh, what we will do uh, the, so the question is very important right because as you can see right google has asked six times right uh, paytm uh, facebook microsoft right these these are top companies right they have asked these questions obviously this question is very important for us right so we'll understand how to uh, return the number of such group that will be formed right so actually you understand right so our task is to just uh, uh, our task is to group the string together and where the strings in the same group are similar to at least one uh, one another string in the group right if it, it is so we will return such uh, we will return such number of group right so what we will do we'll understand through dfs right so this is uh, uh you can say depth of search approach in which as you know uh, the depth for search it will go to its uh, full uh, uh, depth right that we will see how to do that right so if the strings is given here right so if we say index right so each index contains what 
zero, one, two, three like this. It will start from zero and it will go to the until the last, right? And the word strings, right, is in this string string uh, array. You can say the word first is star, another add to index one that is rats, arts, and star, right? So we have four nodes actually, as you can see, zero, one, two, three, four. If you'll represent this. It will look like this one, right? Zero, one, two, three. Okay, so we have four nodes corresponding to each index of the word, right? And that we can say this is our what? Nothing but our nodes, right? So if we will connect this one, let's suppose connect zero and one as stars are similar to rats. So if zero and one are similar, stars and rats are similar. So we can join this, right? We will connect this. Similarly, if we connect one and two, because one is star, uh, rats, and another is arts, right? So we we have it is similar, right? So we can sim uh, match them, and one we have is what three that is alone because we cannot connect with uh, the star, right? Uh, star. So we have two connected component, this one, and uh, at the uh, two component and the end, and so we have to return two as you can see. Okay, oh, sorry. Okay, so now you understand. Okay, what I'm doing. Okay, so now you got it. Okay, so two uh, component that is connected that we will say there is two connected component and we have to return that and that is as 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 an answer. So we have to return two as an answer, right? So you understand how to do the implementation, right? Now we will go to the browser section and we'll do the implementation. How we will do uh, how we will find our depth for search and how we'll connect the uh, value, right? So what we will do, let's go to the browser and then we will do the implementation of this one. Okay. So now we are at the browser, right? Let's understand. Uh, let me little zoom it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what we will do, first of all, we have given uh, a string we have given. So from where we will get all the words, right? And we'll say this is our notes, right? And to do that, what we have to do, right? We, to do that, we have to do uh we have to create uh, uh you can say all the nodes uh, adjacent nodes uh, right and we'll uh we'll traverse on one node at a time right so to do to do that you know that uh, what we have to do okay so let's understand uh doing this one okay so first of all we'll start from here right and this is nothing but our uh, str right so from the str we can find its length right and uh, once we have the length will get all the nodes right so let's suppose th we are going to start with the n equal to nothing but our uh, strs that we have here right so this str if you'll do str and dot length you will get your length and the, you can you can get the length right so this is the length function right so from the array we'll get dot length so we'll get our uh, the size of the uh, words right uh, uh, strings right and now we'll find uh, we'll create uh, adjacent uh, right uh, node adjacency right adjacency list we can say of all the nodes right to do that what we have to do we have to make uh, in the has map so like this we will do okay so we have to define its uh, type right so to define the type what we have to do we have to take say, this is has map so we have to take map and this is nothing but first we'll take a uh, integer as a node and it's all the list of the node right to do make the list of the node what we have to do we'll say integer okay now we have our uh, we can say adjacent list out now what we have to do to uh, from the uh, required graph from the given uh, string array right what we have to do we have to initialize and we have to get all the adjacent list fr from there only okay so to do that what we have to do actually we'll make a for loop and this for loop will take a start from what i equal to zero and we'll go to i should be less than n and i plus plus right and uh, for all i will go to its all j right so to do that what we have to do int j is equal to it will start from i and uh, j j should be what j should be uh, less than n right n and j plus plus right so if actually we are fine we are going to we each word right we will get uh, we will check all the uh similar similar right if this is similar uh, to check is similar we have what we are going to do if there is a word right this is a tars you can say tars right if tars is equal to arts let's suppose if it is equal to arts so we'll check all character first this will go and it will check its all character from here here right so to do that what we have to do actually sorry sorry we, we will take plus one actually okay we'll start from j will start from what next next uh, i plus one 
ne next character it will check and it will check their role okay so what we have to do here uh, let me go and enter here okay so here what we will do actually we'll create a uh, uh, equal equal function and we'll check uh, is they are similar uh, string right so to do that what we have to do we'll make a condition and we'll say uh, check similar check uh, each similar right similar right like this and we'll say this is nothing but our strs right we have given at i and if this is equal equal to what str s right at what j if both are equal then we'll say true but we cannot do like here directly so we'll say we'll make a function and we'll get it as a true or false right if it is equal in that case what we'll say it will give true so we'll we have our urgency list so on the urgency list we'll add uh, we'll call compute function right uh, compute if absent right this one and we'll add two thing let me zoom out a little bit so i'll put what i when i is there right at each i we will get some item right this is our item so this item will get what from where uh, we'll take new array list integer like this and we'll say this is nothing but like this okay once we have this one right we will call dot add method right and this add method will add j so each time we are going i and j so we will have our uh, you can say node right at each time similarly i'll copy this one now we paste here okay so now you can see uh, we have we are going with i and j right this time we'll check not i but this time we'll check j all characters we are checking right so this will traverse item new this one right and we'll say this is not i this is our uh, this is not j this is our i like this so you will get all its corresponding value you can say uh, uh, you have the all adjacent uh, adjacency of each node right each node has its adjacent list you can say this is just for initialization as you can see okay now you can say uh, we will create one uh, you can say a uh, list of where all the node is visited or not right so to check that we'll check we'll create a boolean boolean type sorry boolean boolean right and this is our array so we'll say visited if this is visited so all node will contain true or false right boolean like this and this is nothing but our size of the uh, array okay i'll start counting to check the count group right count number of group right g r o u p group it start from what zero so we are going to count our uh, uh, number of connected components right so how we'll find the number of con con connected component right to check that we'll create a for loop and we'll say int i equal to zero and i should be less than n and i plus plus now what we will do we'll check if condition and we'll say if uh, if our uh, the visited contains this node right not into the visited it means we have to visit this so we'll call create a dfs utility method utility method and this utility method will take i adjacency list and another it will take what visited node right so if this visited or not so these things will take we will make dfs now if that is done and we'll say count group plus plus we'll say and that is done right once this is done right our function should return our what uh, here you can write return our count okay count group okay now only one thing is required that is our dfs utility method it will take what these things okay and to create this one what we have to do we will enter here and will create this one okay so this method will not return anything right it will just update the value so to do that what we have to do we will create our dfs method right so before that there is also one method that we have created that is it will check the similarity method right here so first we will create this one and then we will create that that one okay so i'll create another method this one okay so it will check it will return boolean true or false like this to check this one what we have to do actually 
uh, we are taking two string this is a string a let's suppose string a x you can say or string y okay two string it will take now what we will check we'll check the difference right if the difference is there so we'll take what nothing but our difference all right and this difference will take what uh, zero initially okay now what we'll check we'll check all its character one by one so to do that what we'll check you can directly check right is equal or not you can check like this okay after uh, checking this one so if i equal to zero if i equal to zero i should be less than x dot length this one okay and then this is your string so we will take a string as a function and then i plus plus now coming back to here what we will do let me put down here okay so here what we will do we'll check each character at a time right so we'll check x dot char at char at what i if char at i is not equal to what uh, y dot what caret you can say uh, i okay if it is not equal if it is not equal in that case we'll say difference is increased right and finally once this loop is done we'll return our difference is equal equal to 0 or difference is what equal equal to 2 then return true or false right now coming back to dfs utility method this dfs utility method will take what nothing it will not return anything so it will return it will do what wide as you can see we are just updating at this line okay so to do that first we have taken what int i right it int i is nothing but our node right so I'd say this is our node adjacency you already know we have created the adjacency map so i'll take from here to here I'll put onto our this one visited you already know we have created the visited as a array like this hey everything is done now now first of all while doing while passing this node right this is our current node okay so we'll pass our initially our root node that is on the index 0 right of the array world right that is our this one uh, node node root node right so from the root node what we'll check if this is our uh, first we will mark it as a visited right this is nothing about root node so this root node will check as a true because this is the first node we have to mark as true if it is visited right well if we are going to visit this defense means we are going to visit this so we'll mark it as a true now if the uh, you can say uh, no, if not adjacent con contains any uh, no, you can say con contains method right if contains not contains key, uh, I think contains key yeah. contains key if contains key in will take will take the, uh, will take the uh, root node and if root node is not uh, on the agency means we will return our uh, control means we are not going to continue because this this node is not on the agency means this is wrong right something is wrong in that case uh, we'll return the control otherwise if it is on the uh, agency list will continue and we'll say int will get our neighbor right this neighbor will get from what our adjacent dot agency dot get and will pass our node right so here from here we will get our all the nodes so at a time we'll get all its neighbor right so it will check that each neighbor is visited or not so first of all what we'll do we'll check if this is visited so if this is visited we'll pass our neighbor if this neighbor is visited it means what we will check it's uh, we will mark it as a visited right if it is not visited sorry if it is not visited in this case what we'll do any i and we'll say this is to be true as a visited we, we are going to mark this and again similarly we'll call the where is gone here we'll call again this one here right internally for all its children so first now this is our uh, not node uh, not node but this is our never node and the remaining will remain same right so that's all we have to do for the uh, dfs right first we'll check its uh, node then we will check its uh, neighbors all neighbors right 
so let's run this one yeah it's working for me right so let's submit this one ah it's working for us right so now understand uh, the complexity right see to understand the complexity actually what we have to think right so first of all see uh, we are going with all the uh, two loops we are making here for for loop right means if there is n number of string right n number of what we have uh, you can say size of a string we are right it means uh, we are traversing n square right and if the each word contains the length uh, max length it will check m right let's suppose so time complexity what we can make tc will be what because n n square n n square will become what for uh, uh, its size of the array right like this we can do n square okay and then m will be the si uh, size of the word right and uh, we are storing all the uh, array into our adjacent adjacent list right and to do, do that a space complexity will become o of n square okay so thank you guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video please hit subscribe this channel so that you will get more videos like this so 